Number one, let function x equal x plus one times x squared plus two. The values of x for which the graph y equals function x is concave up r, a, b, c, or d. Now I'll need the second derivative. Therefore, what I might do instead of using the product rule on this one, I'll just expand those that out. So we'll have function x is equal to x plus one times x squared plus two. That becomes x cubed plus two x plus x squared plus two. And rearranging that becomes x squared plus two x plus two. The first derivative equals three x squared plus two x plus two. Second derivative that's six x plus two. Now if it's concave up it must be greater than naught, therefore six x plus two must be greater than naught. Six x could be greater than minus two, so x could be greater than minus a third, which of course gives you a.